What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and I'm here at the Nerd Castle with the next episode of Legend of Grimrock. I'm feeling tremendously recharged right now, I just took like three days off and this is the first video that I'm re-recording after taking like an extensively long weekend for my anniversary and like a family holiday. And really I just haven't been doing much over the last couple days, which means that I've got loads and loads of energy that is ready to go, or that are ready to go. Is the energy pluralized or is it singular? Hmm verbiage problems. Anyways, let's continue. In the previous episode, we had ran into some nasty little shieldy guys with these dangly little decanter looking things that put smoke all over the place. Very, very bad for the eyes, nose, mouth, lungs, etc. In fact, I'm willing to bet that, as with everything else in this dungeon, it's probably carcinogenic. But I went back to the previous floor. I rezzed everybody. There was a way to get past that door where we got trapped by the trolls a couple episodes ago. There was a button that I missed. And so we basically played the last episode with a giant handicap for no reason whatsoever. But it made us look pro I guess it made me look pro if not like super stupid at the same time hmm is looking stupid a valid payoff for looking pro at the same time not really too sure let's go ahead and continue exploring the dungeon they were these guys right here I don't even know what those are but I'm willing to bet the game is probably gonna get a lot worse from here on out Goromorg 2 as far as I understand there's 13 floors so we've got a bit of a ways to go until we beat the game let's go ahead we're gonna start I guess what I'll do is I'll go that's actually really really loud the clanking of the door has deafened me and so what we're gonna do is we'll just go counterclockwise I guess and figure out where we want to be it looks like there's some freebie bolts over here which I will very very happily take because we are pretty low on arrows at the moment I should turn these into fire bolts if I wanted to make my life a little bit easier what's the fire bolt spell enchant fire arrow that's what I should do. Let's go ahead and do that. And this is a little bit expensive with mana, as I recall. But it'll give me a better chance of winning down the line. So there it is. We've got ourselves some fire arrows now. And while obviously that's not going to be a sustainable tactic if we get ourselves into a situation where we can't rest, our Tic Tacs will be quite wounded. For any fight that we're going to open up against, it'll give us a reasonable supply of damaging abilities. I feel like something's going to burst through the walls right here. I hear lots of, like, clickety-clickety nonsense. I also hear an ooger. Oh, there is no way that this is going to end well. Alright, let's give myself a little bit of room to play with. Let's open all the doors and make sure that I have places I can retreat to if I need to. Because it is sounding as though we're going to be stuck with a fairly major sneak attack very very soon we'll throw food on her is that a throwing axe oh good it's a throwing axe that's nice and loverly I like throwing axes they're a pretty good weapon I enjoy having them along with me I didn't hear anything happen right there oh oh Christ okay so we have actually a decently sized problem here what I am going to strongly suggest is unfortunately that we are going to have to fight right here and that was very very loud so what I would prefer to do right now is we've really 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 got to there we go so there's one down and what I want to do oh shit come on come back this way come back this way right now come back this way oh bastard ow and so somebody else is now dead that's okay though We'll swap back and forth until I finish this guy off. He shouldn't be able to damage us too badly. There we go. And so we've got the shield down. Out hell. I gotta get my fingers back. I gotta get my fingers back. I'm playing poorly right now because my dexterity has been limited. My... Oh, God. Okay. Well then, this sneak attack is becoming increasingly fatal. What do I want to do now other than run the hell away? Okay, so basically we just want to be careful and just keep knife stabbing right here. And then we'll go back to the previous floor. And that actually works out a little bit because I'll be able to show you these things do a lot of damage. Like these things do a really, really sort of excessive amount of damage when they attack. Let me make sure that I stay the hell out of his way though. Also, they strafe, which is a bit of a worry. Strafing, not really permitted in my world. I don't like it when the enemy employs the same tactics that I employ. That's It's bad. It's all around bad for me. And so this is going to be one of those episodes where I get to backtrack back to places we've already been. Okay, there's a little bit more damage. God. I would really just prefer for you not to hit me with any of your spells. That giant lightning bolt that you're currently just kind of procuring and getting ready to drop in my direction because they are dropped and they fly forward. The, fr the, the first thing you have to do with a lightning bolt is you got to drop it because that makes it nice and angry so that it goes at the enemy a little bit more aggressively. The other thing that I'm a little bit worried about is that there might be an ogre, pray tell, running around out there. 
Come on, do a little bit more damage. They're not that beefy as long as you can stay out of the way of their ridiculous AoE damage. And it'll only take us like one more hit to die, so I really... There we go. Alright, so we're good right here. We'll go ahead and load back up on arrows. And then let me go back to where we came from. This works out because it allows me to show you where that button was. I mean, it's a little bit inefficient. But simultaneously, it's kind of nice too because now I get to fill in the little gaps. And so if we're fighting these things over the duration of this dungeon, I'm probably going to be doing this run a lot. If I, if I had to think about it, I tend to die to these things a ton because they're nasty. They're just, they're bad. Like one hit can, two hits, you saw right there, two hits is all it took to kill our backline people. And then our frontline people started going at like three or four hits. So if they pop those on you and you get trapped in a small area, it was kind of a difference where the button is around here somewhere, by the way. I think. Are we on the final? Hold on. Are we on the final? Okay, so the button's over here. We're not quite there yet. So this area we got trapped by a bunch of ogres. If I had actually just paid attention while I was running around in here, there's a button on this. Well, we'll find it. It's either on this extension or on the one that goes right over there. But the crystal is what we want. And so I think the crystal's back over this way. Maybe? Yeah, there it is. Okay, everybody's back again. Everybody is back. Now, what we need to do, nobody's leveled up from that experience. I think that it was, actually, that was kind of, it was, oh, I don't know if that was punny, but, you know, the experience of getting murdificated by a bunch of mages, and also we got experience for that. I don't know. I just don't, I don't see the button anywhere, but it's on the right hand, it's on the left hand side now that we're turned around, but it's over here somewhere. There's a button on the wall. I missed it. It's easy to miss while you're in a panic running from ogres as well, so... Be aware that it is a thing that exists, and you can push the button to reopen this little area right here. I can't seem to locate it right now, but it's on your right-hand side if you're going this way. It's around here somewhere. I wanted to show it. Damn it, there it is. That's what I wanted to show you. It's it's here. You can work your way back out of here if you need to use a redstone. Don't do what I did, which is run around in circles like an idiot, like getting yourself just totally stressed out over difficult challenges because you're doing them with two party members left not the best way to go through things and I'm not a person that goes through things the proper way ever I mean I just tend to miss things it's largely due to the commentary it's funny because I play games perfectly fine when I'm not doing commentary it's just that commentary tends to remove your focus from like the finer details of the gameplay and so when you're in my situation like I am I don't want to go through that portal at all I really would prefer not to be inside this portal. I'm going to save my game before I do it so that if we die, it's going to be easier for us to recover and I don't need to make cuts. I'm kind of afraid to step on that, too. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I thought. That is that is what I thought was going to happen. So, <laughs> at least we dodged that trap. Does everybody have food on them right now? All right, so eat your crag beetle. You, does the pie help? Oh good, I ate the blueberry pie, so we should get ourselves an achievement now for that. It's not going to pop up because I turn off my overlay because I have a lot of people that send me messages every day. But, is that all the food we have left? If we're actually almost out of food right now, this is concerning. Somebody's got to have more food than that, right? She's got a little bit, but actually, we're not looking so swell on food consumption right now. Yeah. We're going to need to pick up a few. We've got enough food for maybe two more rotations of edibility, but... Which is the principal quality of being an Ed. It's your ability at being an Ed. So if your name is Edward, keep your edibility high. Try it. Just try it every now and again. That takes us down to the 11th floor. That doesn't appear to do anything for us. Got a couple of doors. Those look like they have bucklers affixed to the front of them, which makes me happy. I don't know. I don't like bucklers in video games. Like, if I have to wield the buckler, I always feel like it's just a tiny, not-as-awesome shield. But if I'm in a situation where things look like bucklers, I like them. I just don't want to wield them myself. I don't want them to be my principal way of defending myself because they're kind of small and not really that useful for that sort of thing. Oh, good. They're back. And I've wasted my arrows. Oh, that's nice. That's pleasing. Good things have happened. Ah, hell. I backed up into a corner that I couldn't handle. There we go. You just gotta burst on them super hard. 
I think that's the only way you're going to take those things out efficiently in a hallway is just to sort of memorize your escape route and then burst on them really, really, really hard. Our health is looking pretty bad right now, but with our food supply where it is, I'm not really too confident. Okay, so there's a bunch of little flying things in there. Grab my arrows back. We'll also take the cave nettles. I suppose that given the amount of tar beads that I have, I could apothecary my way out of this. I could get apothecaried out of this situation. There we go. Anyways, let's go ahead and we'll... I wish it would let me stack. Why won't you let me stack? And so we'll just hand out potions to everybody, and that'll be our principal way of escaping from a food-related issue. Because we have been saving our stuff along the way. So why didn't she take damage? Does she have a lot of lightning resist or something? It's weird that she didn't take as much damage as everybody else. It might be due to the fact that she attacks and gets health back, but I don't think so, sir. I don't think so. So anyways, we'll have him drink one, she'll drink one, there we go, and then you're the only person left that needs to drink one. And while I realize this is sort of a roundabout way to get the same result that I want, it's safer than risking our food supply right now. Let's make sure that we don't see any buttons up in this area or any runes with which to click, because if there was a rune, I want to rub my finger against it. I don't know. There's something about indentations. Indentations are always fun. These things disease me, and I would prefer not to get any insect-transmitted diseases, so ITDs. I'm not going to open that just yet. I'm just going to search this corridor while we've got a little bit of time to play with. What is that? Just a normal longsword? Okay. Well, it does look like this room is reasonably... Oh, there's an enemy right there. And so let's prepare for the hurling. Get our Ungaro Y on. Huh? 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 Lord of the Rings humor? Huh? Well, Lord of the Rings references anyways. Maybe not humor. Ugh, I hate it when I get a freeze off. And that guy's going to fire right after he comes out of that. Yeah, there it is right there. Let's see if we can get a freeze right here. As far as I know, he should come to us. Okay, continue working on him a little bit. Come on, shoot your bolt. You know you want to. He's like, oh, I don't know what to do right now. You're outskilling me so hard. I was like, don't worry, give it a second. I'll, yeah, see, give it a second. I'll screw up. Oh, she has resist cold. That's why it was so high. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Like a candy vendor. It makes sense like a candy vendor. There we go. There's my simile of the day. I'm feeling pretty good right now. I knew I had to get one out somewhere because anytime that I come back refreshed from an episode, I know that I expect of myself anyways. I have very, very high standards of production if I've taken a couple days off. If it's like my 12th day of working in a row on YouTube stuff, I'm just like, eh, if I don't say anything funny, I don't say anything funny. But if, I'd ha if I've had days off, I need to say something funny. So let's go ahead and we'll start right here. And actually... Oof. We're probably all going to end up reasonably diseased from this whole thing. There's only two in there. And what is this? Oh, Valor Pants! Yes, yeah, son! Okay, so let's... The Pants of Devala is now upon my pantalone area. I have now covered my privates and also my genitalia with amazing gold girdage. Okay, so we got that open. We got that open. I don't know if maybe I should open all these. Eh, why not? Let's create a prime thoroughfare. And that will allow me to transfer in between locations, I guess. We got ourselves Valor Pants, which is pretty sweet. It looks like I'm wearing the full set now, unless there's like a Valor Cloak. I don't know. I'll have to check my achievements after I get done with this, because once again, I keep my, my notifications off, because I get a lot of messages from both streamers and other YouTubers and things while I'm sitting around playing games. And so, and just fans and viewers and things like that. My Steam account is pretty much maxed out. So if you're sending me messages, like I get these messages every couple of days where people are like, I tried to add you on Steam, but you didn't accept. It's because I get like 25 invites every couple of days and I just, they don't fit anymore. You might not know this, but Steam actually has a maximum, it has a maximum allocation for people that you can have on your buddy list. And mine is, if not approaching that realm, it's got to be pretty close. So I stopped accepting them just to keep things a little bit. Oh, I just fizzled. That's fun. 
Okay, and so over here what I need to do is I need to be sure of where I'm going before I do... Ooh, we might actually get this guy. It's like a freebie. Yeah, freebie. We didn't have to do anything difficult. I didn't have to do any crazy kiting or any of that professional grade stuff where I'm running around with like keys attached to my kite and whatnot, figuring out what electromaticity is. We'll kill that right there. And I don't see any other buttons. I There's a lot of bugs in here, though. That bug is of a far larger size than I'm comfortable with. Uh, that might be the understatement of the year, but that's a big-ass bug. That is like one of those weird, like... Cenozoic creatures or something. That thing is huge. Oh good, we're all diseased. At least we can be sick together. What's better than being sick with friends? Not being sick at all with friends? <laughs> would be the next place that I would go with that logically. Alright, I'll pick up some throwing stars even though I don't really use them. Occasionally I use them on my mage and that's the only reason I pick them up anymore. I thought I heard footfalls. The falling of large dungeony feet. There's a big hole right there. I need to make cure disease pots. What is that? Antivenom? That's not what I need. Cure disease pot! Let's see here. Just more proof that pot cures everything. Alright, cure disease pot. What are you? Tar bead and slime bell. I'm pretty sure I can just wait these out though. Especially since he's out of mana. That's what I might actually do. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna... Try and be as safe about this as I can. I mean, this may still end poorly. There's no telling. Let's see. There we go. That's the only way I know how to really protect myself. I'm going to let him get his mana back because we're all out. The broken mechanism controls the portal. From there, we can escape. I'm still too weak to move, but I'm glad you're making progress. I need to gather my strength so that we can leave together. Who's leaving with me? The bad guy's leaving with me, isn't it? This place is like a giant kind of like sarcophagus. If I can stop making consonant noises, oh my god. It's like a giant sarcophagus for some weird like supernatural force. I bet you anything that's what's going to happen in the storyline. I bet you anything. I bet you this sword right here because it's not a real thing. And therefore, if I lose the bet, it's pretty cheap on my end. Also, there's no way for me to transfer it, and so, ultimately, I'll be able to renege on the agreement without any real repercussion. Hooray! I love agreements that come out in my favor no matter how poorly I perform. Let's see. <laughs> Those are the best agreements. Das Besta. Let's go back over here. I don't see anything right there. It sounded briefly like it did something. I heard some sort of like whispering wind throughout the dungeon when I did that, but maybe not. Frost bombas. And a couple of poison pots. Okay. How many bombs am I carrying around right now? I've got to have a pretty considerable amount, right? I've got a couple. Nothing that I could really use at the moment, though. I'd rather save it for if we get ourselves trapped into a nasty situation and have to reload. Like, I really, really enjoy using pots and things when I get caught in sticky situations. We've used them a couple times in the past. I'm terrified of jumping... Oh, there's a door right here. What is it? Well, headbutting it doesn't work. I went with my first option, and that didn't seem to get the job done. So it's probably you have to drop down in here and then activate it or something. Or it's activated through here, maybe. Alright, let's go have a look, because I would like to complete this section of the dungeon. We may not be able to do this section. I'd like to, I'm trying to speed this, this game is actually kind of dragging. From a, from a planning standpoint, there are a lot of games out there. For example, this game is the re, this game and Red Faction Guerrilla are the reasons why I'm not doing Lord of the Rings right now, which I feel like would have been really, really good for the channel. But, I don't want to have too many series running at the same time. Just to give you like a little glimpse into my organizational mind. Like, I do try it. Ah, oh, I thought that was like the feet of some crazy Skeletor type creature. It scared me for a second. What is this? A two room note? I have only, or I have come to the realization that you can only traverse through the dungeon starting from the top of the mountain. I think the dun oh, never mind. I think it's this one over here. I've seen similar crystals in the temples of Nex, but compared to these huge formations, they were withered and lifeless. Those crystals certainly didn't have enough power in them to bring a fallen companion back to life. I wonder how many times I can still cheat death. How come he's able to drag himself back to a crystal in between, like, murderings? He doesn't have any party members, does he? Mm. More bolts! Oh, fire quarrels. Okay. So the thing to do right here would be to go like that. I think it was that. 
No, that was not it. What was it? Oh. There we go. And so that'll give me a whole bunch of fiery quarrels. There we are. And if I prefer my quarrels, I prefer them to be very, very fiery. Because I'm a fiery spirited human being. What is this? A full helmet. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't want it. Can't take it. So won't have it. There we go. Over here, I will not. I will suffer not the helmet to live. Suffer not the heretic. Let's see. Oh, hell. I saw that at right the wrong moment. Oh. So we're going to need to pin that down somehow. Sure. Let's use the torch. We'll pin it down that way so we don't have to worry about getting shot every time we come through here. Although it could be a reasonable strategy if we can kite monsters back. Oh, that statue scared me. I thought I saw like weird like colored robes or something like wizards running around. So there's a couple of those. That door is looking foreboding as though I probably don't want to go through it. It's got statues on both sides of it. In your adventure career, when has there ever been anything good inside of a door with two creepy looking Cthulhu statues? It's, it's, there's just no way that with Cthulhu statues flanking your location that anything pleasant is going to happen when you go in there. I suppose we'll just jump down the hole right now. I am going to save before I do it in case it's like a booby trap. You'd think we'd have a grappling hook or something by this point to make that easier. Like keep myself from losing big chunks of health every time. Oh. Okay. So we've got a collection of nasty little critters in here. Luckily, I think we should be able to fight them fairly easily given the sheer amount of freezy stuff we have. There we go. Put the lobsters on ice for a bit while we stab them to death because it's our only real option. So this is definitely one of the cases in which they're trying to kill you when you step on down in here. Bit more risky than some of the holes that we've jumped down. That's for sure, but what's an adventure if they're not constantly jumping down holes and, you know, risking their safety and their lives? That's part of our job. I mean, it's what we do. I'll probably actually just try and fight this guy with ranged attacks. I don't see any reason to continue attempting to freeze him. I'll just kite him back until... There we go. And so our rogue took a little bit of damage right there. A 26 spot to the forehead. Kill that off, pick up all of our thrown weapons, and then we'll have a look. So we got a slime bell as payoff. I always view these holes as being sort of like not worth it unless I pick up a lot of stuff that's useful to me. I mean, if you can get a couple goodies down in here, if there's a few very, very lucrative secrets, I think the holes are worth it. But sometimes you jump down into one, lose a bunch of health, lose a bunch of time. It's just totally not even worth it. This may be one of those times. It looks like we got a couple of plants out of it, but by and large, let me take a look at the walls one more time because I will be frank with you right now. I wasn't really paying attention for buttons or anything like that while we were playing along. So I'm going to take a look, and if they're here, they're here. If they're not, that's fine too, but we need to get back on the road again and finish off this next part of the dungeon because time runs short. Yeah, I don't see anything right there. And so off we go. Oh. Okay. The Shield of the Elements. What does it do? Oh, wow, that's actually really spectacular. Since we've already got the achievement, my suspicion here would be that this is a much better choice for things that I should be equipping. I don't think I should be carrying around the Sword of Nex anymore, and I'm also not going to carry around Ring Greaves any longer. The Circlet of War is nice. It gives strength, but she'd have to trade out her Chitin Mask for it. Maybe we'll throw the bombs on her. There we go, and that'll get him unencumbered for now. I don't really think I need to carry around the Sword of Nex anyways, considering it's not nearly as good as some of the other stuff we're equipped with. Oh, well, let's just kind of move off this way. Actually, we're out of time right now, so my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for the Nerd Castle, or in the Nerd Castle. We can do it for the Nerd Castle, too. It doesn't really matter to me. It can be for while in. It, eh, you know, your, your pronouns don't really matter. That's not a pronoun. The hell am I talking about right now? It's a positional something. I don't know. Anyways, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Legend of Grimrock. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and as always, I do.